kind of pick and pulse here. The map has been selected and it's Wretched Shop Hexy. Um, it looks like Pulse won the coin toss. They have opted to play Killer first and knowing it's Wretched Shop, Inspire has brought his hag to the table. The hag that demolished uh, the um, instant dodge on Pale Rose. So looking to try and have a similar performance here on Wretched Shop. I suspect that, right? You're going to pick your strongest killers going in from now on. Like, there's no more. I'm going to try to, you know, pick a weaker, weaker killer because you don't want to run the chance of just getting knocked out completely, right? So something to keep in mind for the new viewers tuning in. Uh, anytime a killer is played throughout these top eight, they will be unable to play that killer again until uh, finals. So essentially, they will need to have three or four killers their arsenal uh to be able to play at a competitive level and it looks like inspire will be going with the hag because obviously if they lose this match knocked out completely so you know it's better to pick your strong cards and try to move yourself up the bracket um rather than getting knocked out completely yeah absolutely and just uh to, to reiterate uh since we've had a tiebreaker um shift w and the gentleman uh had a free-for-all pick essentially uh, on the tiebreaker match. So that means that Shift W's Spirit and the Gentleman's Pyramid Head has not uh, been locked out. They can be selected later on in this process. Uh, any tiebreaker match uh, doesn't count towards or take in con uh, to consideration killer lockouts. It does look like he's springing the spider web. This is kind of what you're going to see most hags do a little bit slow as far as their early game, trying to get their traps, oh. trying to get their spider web set up. That was the hex ruin gone early. Oh no, I thought that's what it was in the back of my head. And I was like, oh, please no. And it actually is. That's incredibly devastating to lose that within what, like the first 30 seconds of the match, not even 20 seconds. Uh, does end up fighting Trap Remain though. That is true. Trap Remain going to be holding the wall. Considering the fact that Hag is a 110% movement speed killer, should have plenty of time to make the distance on this loop and use dead hard for good measure is going to be able to extend this chase out just a little bit. Ooh, lost a little bit of distance there. Try to fake out on the runaway and potentially lost distance. But again, 110. It's uh, not that fast and there's more pallets on the map. I, uh, does he make it? He fakes the swing. Oh, no way. Oh, oh no. no. What's going on? Trapper Bane. He's going to make it towards oh, the pallet. He doesn't quite get there, but he's got to chuck that in the highlight reel for sure. Oh, man, that's a, a great play on Trapper Main's part. Unfortunately, it didn't get too much value, but, you know, a few seconds is a few seconds. And in a game where seconds really do matter, like they genuinely do, that get, allowed his team to fact, uh, finish a generator there. So well played on Trapper Main's part. Seconds literally matter in competitive play, and uh, that, that goes a long way. You know, you don't want to get grabbed from a locker in that scenario because if you get grabbed from a locker then the killer doesn't have to pick you up. So that's, you know, seconds lost for the survivor. So to be able to jump out and then <laughs> dodge another swing. So uh, it does look gonna, like he's running also, the faster place too, as well as the distance yeah. for that right there. And it's what we've seen. Uh, so that'll allow most of the... Go ahead. You go ahead. I was going to say, I, I, most hags have been bringing that. I think Otz was potentially the only one who, who didn't bring faster placing and, and went for duration instead. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the cracked egg, which is the duration. It lasts longer, and usually I, I like it more because it allows for more mind game potential, right? Because it's just sitting there for so long. Um, but having the faster placement is almost like a must. I, I love it. You just get traps down so quickly, and sometimes, uh, you know, if you get on the back foot of your traps, that can be really bad. It does actually have a nice uh, juke there. Really well played. Yeah, and another, another trap there. Into a second, into a third, potentially just down the line. Will they run straight into the web of the hag? Looks like avoiding just for now. Oh, there's a, a trap. Trap of main. Going to find that one. And then the trap that I suppose the Legion main was going to run into expires on the other side of the map, giving uh, Legion main a chance to get away. But that's probably okay with uh with inspires hag due to the fact that you want to get trap main out of the game he's just been hooked yeah take it to the shack there is a trap in the middle of the shack he's going to run straight on into is the decisive strike still going to stay active i didn't really fully tell oh, oh, that was a killer sound that? but he just barely mistimed it oh. oh no that's so bad Wow, what a good Did play. I actually thought that was the stun. So they are still Millisecond. drilling the generator right 
right next to it. Yeah, it was just barely off. It looked good, honestly. Um, it was a nice play from DB's part, but uh, I guess he might have just uh, timed it just a little bit wrong. And to be honest, you got to be really tight with that because, like, once he's up, if he moves just a smidge away, it would have been no deal at all. Um, so, unfortunately, it wastes the Shaq's palette as well as doesn't get the drop. So, a big loss. Um, but they're still kind of being very aggressive with the gens, um, moving at a good pace. And it seems as though the trap is uh, struggling a little bit here. I'm just trying to gauge as to where. Okay, never mind. He actually has a pretty nice setup as far as the traps go, I think. Is going How to they get. I mean, now this camaraderie's been activated on the hook. So that's an extra 34 seconds of struggle time to just figure it out. And it looks like DB is constantly aggressing onto this generator, burning traps with a flashlight. Oh, that's going to be a force here. Can he dodge out the attack? I mean, he's got so much time to play with. The camaraderie's got active, by the way. <laughs> now it's uh, now it's expiring, and then the, the hook timer will uh, progress as normal. There's the hit. There's going to be the, the unhook coming through. I think it was just going to be a hook trade. Oh! No, they're taking the borrowed time. No way. The dead heart That's gets exactly him out. Is there a pallet on the other side? There's a pallet there. Can he make it in time? It looks like he can. Oh, there's a trap. And it is enough to find the down onto Conzio. But like you mentioned, that's exactly what needed to happen. That is going to be Legion main getting off the hook. Now the hook trade comes through onto Conzio after the generators have been completed. I think if you're pulsed, there's not much you can do. Team Canapeca just going to try and take the three men out. Yeah, they, if they're smart, they just take the three man out, uh, take the points. She has uh, no ed active. Um, definitely need to be worrying about getting yourself out of the match. That's exactly what Team Canapec needed to happen. Like, exactly. To a T. Um, unfortunately for Pulse, they really needed that hook to happen. And then even if they, all the gens got completed, he would have got no ed, and then he could have just, boom, and just been done with it, right? And... Wait, does he actually have deliverance enabled? Conzio has deliverance, yeah, enabled. Oh, oh no, okay. Trapper Main's gone down to the he the, the, the hex. No one escapes. So, is there a, a decisive strike available? No. There goes the deliverance uh, off, the off the Deliverance gets off the hook. So that is going to be uh, Conzio making his way towards the exit gate. Uh, is going to be able to get in there safely. A three-man escape will come through, but it was so close to potentially opening up a four men escape with that deliverance play. Just unfortunate for Legion Main to have, uh, oh, sorry, Trevor Main to have found himself caught in that scenario. Three men escape for Team Canapec here on the Wretched Shop. Inspires Hag, not quite able to get it done. Yeah, absolutely insane performance for Team Canapec. Uh, pretty much played that about as good as you could, right? Like, Pulse really needed that kill on the hook there, um, and then he would have got the no ed and then could have got the hook there. They still would have had to deal with the deliverance, and it could have just been a completely different thing. But that save and then not getting the trade, that's really what just kind of snowballed it. And when you're so far into the match, you really need to keep some sort of aggression. Uh, and it just pretty much spiraled out from under them, unfortunately. Not able to get their footing uh, for Pulse there. Um, just a little bit heartbreaking to watch. But, you know, they're they're down, but not quite out. If they can have a dominant performance over Team Canapec, they could still come back on this. But uh, if I was Pulse, I'd be a little bit worried. Uh, we're raised to, to see what was this team about. Now they are fighting for their tournament life versus Canapec here on the Wretched Shop. The survivors have loaded in five points to Pulse and uh, 16 for Canapec, meaning that if Canapec are able to find just two kills in this trial, on their spirit, they are going to be successful in making it and Already, DB has found a survivor. Incredible read there uh, by DB, reading that pretty much perfectly. Uh, it's a rough one, right? This is another situation where the killer is just finding the survivors right at the start of the match. Dead hard for distance, unfortunately. It was a good try attempt. Uh, I think he did kind of read that right, but DB said, nah, throw your dead hard. I'm going to smack you right after. Um, and DB's that's going to be a so peculiar. Did you get a get, get a good witness of that? Right. Whispers, rancor, corrupt intervention, and no one escape step. No gen regression whatsoever. Now, there's two reasons you do this. Either you just value tracking over anything here, Hexy, and you want to find the survivors quickly so you can get the downs quickly. Uh, the other reason is that he knows that he doesn't have to protect against the generators. He just needs to get kills, and so the quicker you find the survivors, the more chances you get for that. But it, it, DB's builds are definitely the more 
diverse so far in the tournament. Yeah, he's. Uh, I, I kind of think that might be what it is. It's just I want to get early aggression. I want to get pressure. I want to have information. I want to slow them up. And if you can just have that early snowball effect, it becomes incredibly more difficult for survivors to get up off that back foot, uh, especially going versus Spirit, which is one of the more difficult killers to juke in the game as far as just um, knowing where she's at. It's A lot of times it becomes a coin toss a little bit. Oh, I think he was trying to bait that into a dead hard. Uh, doesn't yeah. the dead hard doesn't come out though? They're I've actually been noticing a, quite a bit of survivors do that tech where they just stop moving completely and then be dead hard. Um, I've actually gotten tripped right. up by that one, but DB says not. -uh. Very patient, and that will be White Goat going onto a hook. The Rancor pick is a huge one here for DB as. Uh, perk allows you to see the survivors snapshot auras whenever a generator is completed giving you mass awareness of where all four survivors could be on the map at any given time uh, but it also has the secondary effect of making the obsession exposed uh, once all five generators have been completed and giving you the opportunity to kill them directly with your hand mori them out of the game uh we will only award a team one point uh in the instance that they get moried by rancor uh, they don't get the, the, the point for hooking. It, it will just be one point for the death there. Um, but uh, for, for Team Canapec, if they can just deny two kills, then that's really all they need to make sure they have the points necessary to beat, uh, to beat Pulse here. So I, I have to imagine that the, the Rancor pick could be a huge, huge one if the, the generators do get completed. I mean, they're doing good with the, the gens. They have a solid pacing. Another gen or two, I think, is about to pop here, assuming they can get people back on it. And there's no gen regression, as you said it er or as said earlier. So none of and nothing DB does is really going to affect the generator speeds too much, other than just straight up raw points and aggression off of downing people. And he's doing a very good job of that. But you know, all, right here you see three survivors on three gens. This could potentially be, you know two generators going here i don't think that a third one was that far along but there might be two gens pop right here yeah and, and even if you push the survivors off them then still going to be able to uh, to be okay because there's no gen regression they'll just sit there ready to go again uh, it's gonna be shockwave and a chase at the t-war dodges nice. out the the swing coming through from db second hook onto inspire who is got i think aeon looking to to come for a rescue but uh, DB's not going to allow it safely and is going to contest here. The scratch mark shown. So there's the other generator, as I was saying, that was close, and it looked like the other one was about 50% or so, I think. So yeah, White, they, white Goat's they, currently they have, working it. They do have a good potential of getting back in it. There it is. But there's the no yeah. Unfortunately, bad timing on the save. And this is probably I, actually I don't the worst-case scenario. Worst-case scenario, I think, for... um. For, uh, for, for the team here is that White Goat exposed and is immorable and Shockwave yeah. is injured so uh, you, you really do not want to allow for anything to happen here but what, what's the points going to be looking like we, we said that, that all he needed to do was secure two kills and it seems like he's yeah. done that there's no there's no deliverance on, on Aeon they need to get him out if they want to be able to contest the score 100% he needs to get out. They should have uh, waited just a second. A lot of these teams have been running no ed. You'd almost assume like, yeah, hey, they're probably going to run no ed. Wait a second, get the save, and then pop it, right? And I feel like that would have been a much better situation. But now they pretty much have to save here because if they don't, they'll be denied out the points and they will lose the match. But if they can get this save, they still stand a chance of winning this. Problem White is, goat. you got to deal with um, the no ed spirit. <laughs> and a rancor spirit as well white goat's not going to risk heading out into the trial and uh being incidoned um shockwave realistically needs to be healed here so that they can go for the rescue after the the, the, the noed uh the totem has been planned. Where, where is that can we get a, a a camera on the spirit maybe as, as awful as that sounds just to try and see where that noed totem is around the map because they haven't been able to find it, and they've made some pretty good distance around the map so far. Yeah, because if they can get the Noed here, if they can get White Goat to get the Noed, and then send Shockwave in for the save, they do stand a, a good chance of still winning this. Problem is, if they don't it's get the Noed, I don't change. see this happening. Ooh, okay, oh, well, we, we found the hatch. Right 
That is actually really impactful. Oh, there's, there's the, the Noed. Okay, so we've, we've located it. So Noed is located. We give Shockwave the ability to cleanse the totem and then go for a rescue. And with Hatch so close. Oh, Inspire's sussed it out. Inspire's checking up on the yeah. totem and has pushed Shockwave off of it. Now knowing that the coordinates there and time are ticking, I can't imagine that it's even a possibility that Pulse will be able to get the, 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 the totem cleanse. Right now, or it's, yeah. And they're leaving. Oh, they, they, they've they've determined that maybe the points is enough oh, oh okay this is a this is a play uh, are we just bming uh, uh, no we're just bming okay I, I was getting excited because sometimes teams will just bolt over uh, pallets and windows to try and distract the spirit or well, she's in a phase walk but no it looks like pulse of uh yeah, they're gonna go for the thing but unfortunately just gonna be a little too much points down again if they were able to get that no head totem destroyed they had a good chance of getting the save there um, I don't really know how you get out of that situation though, because White Goat is pretty much just straight white. He can't, he can't go for a save. If he does, he gets down and then he gets ranked, right? So, and that's just an insta kill there, uh, which would lose them the game as well. So, that could have, <laughs> that was insanely close. Oh, okay. I know we keep saying this, but uh, that was a really close match. Uh, I've done the map, really? right? 22 yeah. points to 19 here. Team Canapec are the winners and are progressing in our uh, tournament here. Unfortunately, we say goodbye to Pulse at this scenario. But like you mentioned, close match. If they were able to unhook the survivor, that would have denied the death point down to 21. And then if they were able to get the extra man out, it would have been a draw at 21 points each. So it was a viability that they could have reset the match into a tiebreaker. Uh, unfortunately, it was just too hard and too risky they didn't want to uh to to go for it they they took the points and uh this is where we say goodbye to pulse yeah it's unfortunate i mean that's about as good as it gets you know when you had a pretty dominant performance from canapec uh they they were able to still um come in and showcase what they had and you know it's unfortunate to say goodbye to Pulse because I I do kind of feel like that might have been nerves affecting them a little bit in the first match because as you see with this one, they played uh, much, much better. Um, they should be proud of those games. Uh, unfortunately, we do have to say goodbye to them as we do have to crown one person to be victorious. But thank you so much, Pulse, for being a part of this. Uh, it was a pleasure to commentate your games.